Welcome to the Sundial at the Westin Peachtree Plaza Hotel. We're with Chef Christian Messier, and we're talking about knives today. Sort of what to look for when you're buying one, what all these different kinds of knives are for, and and maybe you know you can give us some inside tips and tricks. So just start telling us sort of what all these different knives are used for. Absolutely. When we're looking at uh, kitchen knives, you have a few selections to start with. Uh, they vary in price, size, uh, the job that they do. Uh, you have a lot of choices. Uh, everybody should have a main chef's knife. Uh, anything like this. Uh, These are both chef, chef's knives. Absolutely. Okay. This, is a, this is a German chef's knife. This is a Mustaf. Uh, the German steel is a little bit harder, a little harder to sharpen. Uh, this is a Dexter Russell. It's an American made. Uh, $22 knife that I use every day. And this is one of your favorites, I mean, that's right? That's my favorite. So I, you don't have to spend a ton of money to get a great knife? Absolutely not. It, it really, it's similar to a tennis racket, racquetball racket, golf club. Um, it's what fits your hand and the jobs you're using it for, obviously. Okay, so what are some of these others for? Okay, uh, this knife here is for uh, like boning, uh, boning out large cuts of meat. Um, we also clean fish with this knife. Okay. Um, this is a, a, a flexible blade knife. We would use that to also clean fish um, and be less apt to cut through and gouge the fish. Um, then we have smaller boning knives here. This is also a newer uh, style of chef's knife. It has a ceramic blade um, and it, it's kind of new to me. It's all the rage. It's really popular um, and it's supposed to hold a blade for longer. But it's actually you like or don't spending. like about it? Um, I've heard they break easily, but okay. I, I haven't used it long enough to really understand. Okay, okay. And these are my pairing knives. Yes. There are, this is actually a boning knife. Okay. We, we would use this to like bone out chicken. Okay. And this is a newer style knife that's called a chicken knife. Uh, Forstner makes it's one of my new favorite knives. It has the blade of a pairing knife and the handle of a boning knife, so you have a lot more control if you're doing smaller vegetables or more intricate detail. Okay, well. I might not be able to have all of these knives in my collection. At home, what do I need? At home, I would always suggest you have a good chef's knife. Okay. Uh, fits your hand, you're comfortable any number of ways using it. A serrated knife works if you're cutting bread, uh, some vegetables, tomatoes, etc. And then I would have a good paring knife. But if you have those three knives, I think that's a good start. I really don't think you need that many tools to do that. All right. So next time, we're going to we're going to actually use the knives. You're going to give us some trip tricks on how to, you know, cut different items that we might use in our kitchen all the time, because sure. obviously it's easy for you, but for the rest of us, maybe not so easy. Absolutely. But just three knives, again, tell me the three again. A chef's knife, a good chef's knife, a serrated edge knife, and a paring knife. All right, thanks. This is Chef Christian Messier at the Sundial. Come see him for lunch or dinner at the Weston Peachtree Plaza.